In the aftermath of the tragic attack on Moscow's Crocus City Hall, countries around the world are reacting with condemnation and solidarity. The United States has issued a warning of heightened threat, with intelligence confirming ISIL's claim of responsibility for the devastating assault. White House spokesman John Kirby described the images as horrible and hard to watch. Can't speak much to the details of it. I mean, this was all just breaking before uh, I came on out here. So we're uh, trying to get uh, more information, but uh, really would refer to uh, Russian uh, authorities to, to speak to it. Uh, the images are just horrible um, and uh, just hard to watch. And our thoughts, obviously, are going to be with the, the victims of this terrible, terrible shooting attack. Um, and I think, you know, you, you look at that video if you have and you got to recognize that there's some moms and dads and brothers and sisters and sons and daughters that haven't gotten the news yet. And this is going to be a tough day. Um, so our thoughts are with them. Um, you might have also seen, hopefully you saw our state, the State Department, our embassy there, uh, put out a notice to all Americans uh, in Moscow to avoid any large gathering, concerts, obviously shopping malls, anything like that, uh, just for their own safety. They should, uh, they should stay put where they are and stay plugged into the State Department for any additional updates and information. Do you have any sense whether this could be linked at all to the conflict in Ukraine? There is no indication at this time that Ukraine uh, or Ukrainians were involved in the shooting. But again, this just broke. We're taking a look at it, but I would disabuse you at this early hour of any connection to Ukraine. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has expressed shock and condemned the attack in the strongest terms, echoing the sentiments of the UN Security Council, which denounced it as a heinous and cowardly terrorist attack. French President Emmanuel Macron has strongly condemned the assault, expressing solidarity with the victims and the Russian people. Similarly, Spain and Italy have voiced their shock and condemnation, with Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney denouncing it as an odious act of terrorism and offering full solidarity to the affected individuals and families. Pakistan has strongly condemned the attack, expressing deepest sympathies to the families of the victims. Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan conveyed Ankara's condemnation of the heinous terrorist attack to his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov expressing sadness over the loss of lives and injuries. The United Arab Emirates has joined in condemning the terrorist act, reaffirming its rejection of all forms of violence and terrorism, while extending sincere condolences to Russia and the families of the victims. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko expressed condolences to President Putin, denouncing the attack described as a terrorist attack by Moscow. President Ilham Aliyev of Azerbaijan conveyed deep shock and condemnation, while Kazakh President Kasim Jomart Tokayev urged UN member states to reject violence against innocent citizens. Uzbek President Shovkot Mirziyoyev condemned the terrorist act against civilians and extended condolences to President Putin. KYRGYZ President Sadr Japarov declared support for efforts against terrorism and urged global unity in combating this evil. Moldova's embassy in Moscow condemned the attack, expressing condolences to the victims' families. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan strongly condemned the shooting in a telegram to President Putin, expressing solidarity with Russia. Stay tuned for further updates on this developing story.